Welcome back to another edition of Man Cave Astronomy. As you see, we've got our mount set up, we've got our uh, guide scope set up, and um, just figured I'd do a video, let you guys watch me balance this thing. And um, we've got, you know, I just got everything put together and set up, so I got to get it balanced out. We've already done our polar alignment, so we're good there. Um, as soon as I get it balanced, I'm going to plug the timing coordinates in and um, we'll start doing some looking, so sit back and enjoy. Not only that, you've got to hear me yak enough, so it's time to do some business into the video series that we've been doing.
see bounce and takes a little finesse in here. It's pretty good there though. That's good, that's what we want right there. Now, as you can see, we got it all nice and balanced up. It doesn't hardly take anything to move. Um, and I gotta readjust my band, um, my holding band, from because we just put this on. I haven't had a chance to set the scope back up and really adjust it in. Um, I've got some marks. You can see the little, look like little birds there. Those are marks from where the scope was um, when I broke the band, when I had my 40 millimeter, my large eyepiece in. So tonight I'm going to try to probably make some marks on the scope and actually mark it for, for what we're going to be doing. I've got just inch and a quarter uh, eyepieces in tonight and we're just going to play with the scope. I'm also going to realign my uh my guide scope and uh and just play around a little bit we got about another hour or so before the moon comes up so uh stay tuned well folks here we are um we got our polar alignment done um like i told you before we're set up um we did our two star alignment and uh um got that all done and uh we got our our guide scope um, locked in as close as I can get it with what I have to um, align by right now or um, to target in it. Um, the moon's going to be up here in just a little bit, so hopefully um, when the moon gets up, it makes a really nice, good, bright target. I can uh, pinpoint a, a crater and really dial that thing in and lock it in. So, uh, um, But I ought to be pretty close. You know, Like I said, the, the stars that I'm looking at are... Or within the, the viewfinder so um, and the focuser is um, even with just an inch and a quarter um, I think I'm running a nine millimeter uh, yeah it's a nine millimeter uh, wide angle eyepiece good little eyepiece um, you know um, here in a little bit as soon as the moon comes out we're gonna break out the uh, the 40 millimeter and uh, do some playing around with that. So um, right now I'm targeting uh, Neptune and looking at Neptune. It it looks really just just like a blue star. Um, you can tell it's a you can tell it's a planet, but it's it's very dim. Um, um, you know, it's just just a little blue dim light. So uh, it's not dim. It's pretty bright, but. Um, it looks just like a star other than it's just it's blue um, so we definitely got to work on getting some more magnification out of this thing um, focus in um, the other issue I'm running into is it's it's about 11 o'clock um, it's the temperature has dropped pretty good um, and you can really see the dew starting to come out now and uh, you know the corrector plate on the scopes got a pretty good got a pretty good little little haze on it um, and grab the flashlight here so you can kind of see and yeah, you can see the you can see the haze forming on the, the corrector plate on the, the scope so um, but you know no worries um you know as it as the dew kind of settles in down here we'll uh, pretty much probably go get uh, the blow dryer or something and uh, heat it up a little bit get something to just blow some air on it and kind of dissipate that dew off um, everything's a little wet out here so um, but as the night goes on it'll you know the dew will subside and um, we got dry air coming in um, from the north so um, hopefully that'll kick on in here and, and uh, you know like I said we'll get this dew dried up some but we're gonna keep looking and slewing around as long as I can see through it um, that's all that really matters so um, you know, definitely gonna have to look into some dew prevention living here in North Carolina um, with the humidity. So, but just want to give you all an update. 
I know it's quite dark, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're going to be looking at here in just a little bit. It's getting ready to crest over the top of the house. Um, I know you get a little bit of a lion glare there, but there's the moon and Jupiter. I just checked it out on Google uh, Star. Uh, Jupiter is that bright star right above the moon, so that's going to be really cool. Well, and you can see how, how bright the two are. So that's going to be pretty neat. That's what we're going to check out big time tonight. I'll probably maybe try to stick the camera in there and get some pictures for you guys and share that with you tonight. Well, folks, uh, basically last night, um, the humidity got so bad, or the humidity, the, uh, the dew got so bad on the scope and everything else, I just had to pack everything up. I, I couldn't keep the the, the, the do off the, the corrector lens and the eyepieces and everything was just pretty much you couldn't see through anything um, and that was around midnight uh, last night <clears throat> um, Jupiter had just come up over the house and the moon was just starting to I could almost see <clears throat> uh, excuse me I could just almost see the, the moon in the um, the guide scope so um, you know, like I said, I, I couldn't hardly even, you could just see the light, um, you, you really couldn't even see through the guide scope and, and even the, the big scope. It was, it just, there was so much dew on everything last night. We, it was, you couldn't see anything, um, basically. So it was, that was a real disappointment. Uh, I packed everything up, uh, just shortly after midnight. Um, I think I got everything pretty much tore down and brought inside and, um, finished up around one o'clock in the morning so um real disappointment um you know but that's just the way it is um especially living here in north carolina the uh you know the relative humidity during the day and then as the temperature cools at night it you know the dew point is relatively high um we do get a lot of dew um until it gets on into fall and into winter um, where it's just cold <clears throat> um, that kind of kind of helps out a lot. I was looking at the weather tonight. I was thinking about getting the scope back out again tonight, and I don't know that I'm going to. Um, the temperature and dew point is supposed to be 57 degrees tonight, and the dew point's right at 57. So that means pretty much once the temperature hits 57, it's going to create dew um, from there on out. So I, I don't know that I'm going to drag everything out again tonight and and try it, but. Uh, I might. We're supposed to be having a cold front come in late tonight into tomorrow and it's also as the cold front comes in with the warm humidity um, it's going to kick up showers and thunderstorms and stuff so you know we'll, we'll just have to look and see how it goes but um, <clears throat> really you know everything you know the scope did good last night um, outside of the dew and um, the mount did pretty good. I was I was starting to have some issues there at the very end when I was trying to really target Jupiter. I think that I was actually, um, Jupiter hadn't come up far enough um, to uh, to be able to see it. I could see it in the in the, the guide scope, but I couldn't see it with the main scope. It was just that, that little bit of a difference. Jupiter hadn't come up that far yet. And then, like I said, of course, the dew had set in. Because when I looked through the, the guide scope, I could see Jupiter and... When I look in the telescope, I couldn't see anything, and I start slowing around, you know, trying to trying to make sure my tracking was correct, and um, just never could see anything. Of course, there again, also at night, um, you can't see the pitch of the roof either, so uh, you're you're pretty much just looking in a blind hole. Um, so you know, like I said, it, it was a little a little disheartening at that point, but uh, but like I said, at that time, it was it was about. It was, it was getting right about midnight and like I said I was microwaving towels to put over the, the front of the telescope over the corrector plate to get the dew off of it and uh, and as soon as I would get it heated up and you know just a very little bit to get that you know the towel pulls that moisture off um, it gives me a clear corrector plate um, you know the as soon as I took it off I only had about three to five minutes to to look through and try to see something and then it just got to the point where um, once I kind of did that a few times, that that heat and cooling of it made made the dew even worse on the corrector lens. Once that warm towel was taken off, it just would almost 
you know it would just do up even worse and uh and then the eyepiece you know the eyepiece was so so dew covered you couldn't see through the eyepiece either so um definitely got to look into some dew prevention um I, I checked out a couple of things today that that i seen that i kind of like but uh you know we're definitely going to have to figure out something well excuse me because i was up at, up until one o'clock last night but uh but we're definitely going to look into that and and uh, check out some things there. Um, dew prevention looks to be pretty pretty affordable. Um, uh, I seen a, a Astro Zap uh, is the company that makes a, a pretty nice looking dew shield with a heating band built into it. Um, you know, some nights you need it, some nights you don't. So um, they also have the option to put a put a you know focuser heater on as well. So you know that that should definitely cure my. Uh, my issues as far as the dew goes and uh you know probably looking about two to three hundred dollars uh, to set that up so you know as we trudge forward and of course once we get into doing any kind of astrophotography that's going to be a must so um but uh but last night was a good night you know no complaints no no big arguments the the, the mount did good the scope did did good um just just mother nature uh kind of cramping the style out there so um Everything went really well. Thank you for watching.